Hey guys, just have a look at a big empty gym at the moment. Hope you guys are safe at home. Uh, we're just doing a little online exercise program that you can follow through and try at home as well. Should take about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is for all our move well guys, including the move steady, the move strong, and the aqua, aqua moves classes. So we're gonna go through a little bit of upper body exercise, lower body exercise, and a little bit of stretching as well, and coordination and balance. Followed through, um, if 30 minutes is too much to do at a time, see if you can do it in 10 minutes or 20 minute blocks or something like that. And, and make sure you consider safety as well in your home while doing this program. Um, usually you'd be supervising the gym, so with each exercise we'll go through the safety that's included and how you can do it um, in your home. Alright guys, so for a warm up, just uh, we're going to do a little bit of walking around the house or marching. Um, just safety wise, Jess. Um, so while you're doing the walking around your house, make sure there's no clutter on the ground. As you can see, there's not anything here that I can trip on. Make sure there's no rugs and there's enough room for you to do the three minutes of walking. Um, also, just walk at a nice speed. You don't want to risk falling if you're walking too fast. Um, and then when we're doing the marching variation, you can do that seated in a chair. So if you are unable to walk around your house, instead of the three minutes of walking, you can do it in the chair. So Dark, she's gonna show us this option. So you just need to make sure that your chair is against a wall so it can't move. Um, and just simple marching in the chair. You can also go a little bit faster to get the heart rate up and then slow it down again. So that's just a simple way to warm up before we start with all our strengthening exercises. All right, so once you've finished your walking or your seated marching, um, there's two stretches we can do to help warm up our body as well before we start our strength exercises. Um, so you'll need a chair, and again, make sure it's against the wall so you're not um, at risk of moving the chair. So the first one, we're gonna start with our ankle. Um, so all you're going to do is try and draw the alphabet with your ankle. So we'll go A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on until you get to the end of the alphabet, and then repeat on the other limb as well. So A, B, C, D, and so on. And that's just going to try and loosen up our ankles ready for our exercise. Um, the next one we can do to help warm up is for our neck. Um, just going through our full range of motion of your neck. Again, if you have any neck issues, just skip this one. Um, so first you'll start by looking down towards the floor and then rotating to the left, rolling all the way up nice and slow until you can see the roof, back to the other side and then facing down and then going back in the opposite direction the same way until you've done a full rotation and then just repeat those twice. So then your neck and ankle should be all warmed up before we start our exercises. All right guys, so the first exercise we're gonna try is the standing calf raises, which Jess is about to demonstrate for us. So the most important thing here is to have a supporting surface that you can hold on to, like Jess has, to just holding on to the kitchen bench over there. And what we're going to do now is slowly Raise the heel off the floor, coming onto the tip of our toes, and slowly come back down. It's very important to make sure that movement itself is very slow and controlled, trying to get as high up onto the tip of your toes as you can, and slowly coming down. Also, just note that we want you to hold on to the, uh, to the kitchen bench for support, so you don't want you to push off with your hands at the same time. So just make sure that the legs are working hard, the calf muscles, and you're looking to try and do two sets of 10 repetitions on this exercise. So the next lower limb exercise we can do is for our hamstring, so the muscle at the back of our leg here. Um, so again, we do need the kitchen bench for safety um, to reduce our risk of falling. So we're going to do the hamstring curl. 
So Dash will demonstrate as I explain. So what he's going to do is lift his heel up towards his bottom as high as he can go, nice and slow, and then back down. And then he's going to alternate with his other leg, lifting the heel as far as he can go, and back down. You need to make sure that your knees are together as well. You should be feeling it in the back of your leg just there. Good. And again, we'll do two sets of 10 repetitions. All right, guys, so the next exercise that we're going to do is the hip range of motion exercises. We're looking specifically at hip abduction, so taking the leg up to the side, and hip extension, which is the leg coming up to the back. So first and foremost, near the bench, I want you to hold on, draw your belly button into your spine, keeping the core nice and tight, the back as flat as you can, and then slowly let's take our leg out to the side, like Jess is showing here, and then back together. So that's the hip abduction. So we'll do 10 repetitions of that. So taking the leg out to the side, as Jess is showing, good, and back together. It's important to note that you have your feet facing forward and not sort of pointing out to the side. And it's also important to try and do alternate sides if you can. So do one on one side and do the other side. And also trying to make sure that your upper body does not sweat as you do it. Do the exercise. And make sure you're slow and controlled. Excellent. Jess. Okay. So next, Jess is just going to demonstrate the hip extension exercise. So over here, now slowly one leg, keeping the knee straight, bring that leg back, squeezing your bottom right at the top, and then the other side. Good. And once more. Excellent. That's it. Keep going. And it's important again to try and squeeze at the top and then slowly bring the leg back down. Excellent. If you're feeling it in your lower back, just make sure you're actually straightening out the arch and just drawing your belly button into your spine and trying this, okay? And make sure you don't hold your breath as you do this exercise. The next lower limb exercise is mainly going to target this quad muscle on the front of the leg. Um, so Dash is going to demonstrate, so it's called the leg extension. And what Dash is going to do is slowly lift his foot up into the air and straighten his leg. And hold and then slowly bring his foot back down and then he's going to alternate with the other leg making sure that he really squeezes that top muscle as he lifts his legs up into the air and back down again and straighten so we need to make sure that the chair is against the wall for safety um, and making sure you're sitting properly in your chair as well so your back is supported and just alternating left and right and again, doing the two sets of 10 reps with both legs. Okay. All right, guys, so uh, the next exercise is one of my favorites, as some of you guys would know. So it's the sit to stance. So Jess is going to demonstrate it for us. First and foremost to note is that the chair is up against a wall, so it can't slide back. So Jess is going to demonstrate. So hands across chest. Slowly bringing your body nose over toes and standing up and slowly sitting back down. Okay, with control, making sure you don't plump into the chair and slowly up. Also, try and make sure that you're not using the um, back of the chair against the knee to help anchor yourself when you're doing the sit to stand. Also, if you do need to use the uh, armrest, please do if, if it's difficult to do the sit to stands as your chair is very low. If you would like to make it harder, you can actually have something around the house like a bottle of milk or something holding on to that and then try doing the exercises. That's it. And again, slowly. You're again aiming for two sets of 10 repetitions for a start. Okay? Excellent. Hey guys, so we're going to do the upper body exercises now. So the very first exercise that we're going to try. Um, if you can use something around the house, like two bottles of milk, or any sort of bowls you might have, 
um, or even just do the motion without any weight, see how it goes. So we're going to do the bicep curl. So what I want you to do is, again, with the chair against the wall, sit up against, uh, sit up on the edge of the seat a little bit, and so your elbows are fully extended, and then what you're doing is bending the elbow, bringing your hands as close to your shoulders as you can, and then slowly bringing it back to the starting position. Good. And again, you're aiming for that 10 repetition mark. The slower you can do the eccentric, which is this bit where you're lowering the weight back to the start position, the better it is. Okay, excellent. Good. Alright guys, so the next exercise we're going to try is for the shoulders, it's the shoulder press. So before we start this, if you have any shoulder problems that limit you from bringing your arms overhead, I don't want you to do this exercise, okay? You'll get, try one of the other exercises instead that we will have. Okay, so the next thing we'll try is slowly bringing the weights up palms facing to the front and slowly bring the weight up, bring them together, straightening out the elbows as much as you can. You don't have to have the bottles touching, just trying to straighten out the elbow. Things to note, make sure you're sitting upright, drawing your belly button into your spine so your lower back is in stress. Also, you're trying to make sure you do not hold your breath, so I don't want you to hold your breath at any point of the motion. And squeezing your shoulder blades a little bit as well. Maintain tension. And lastly, do not shrug your shoulders as you bring your weight, bring the weights up. Excellent. And again, we're going for that two sets of ten repetitions for a start. Okay.
also do it in the chair. Again, make sure the chair is against the wall and there's no clutter on the ground as you step forward. So now he's going to start with his right side. Good, making sure the foot's coming forward as well as you snatch. Again, if you think it could be too difficult, um, do it in the CD version. Guys, uh, the next balance exercise or that, that the coordination exercise we can try is the clapping while trying to catch an object exercise. So it's sort of dual tasking a little bit. So you can use anything really like a napkin if you want or an apple or if you're one of the few lucky ones you can have toilet paper as well. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate with toilet paper for a start. Okay, so what Jess is going to do now is slowly once he's ready, get in position and slowly throw the toilet paper up, do a flat and then catch. That's it. So make sure there's no clutter around you, you know, that there's nothing that you can actually bump your hands against, anything like that. If you if it's too easy, what you can try is you can try and do a double flat. Okay, nice big loud double flat, that's the gist. Good. Excellent. Okay. And if you feel confident, you can even try this exercise in standing. But just make sure that you have a some there's no clutter around you or there's something to balance on it.
so that's all the exercises that we're going to start with. Most of them are ones that you've either done in the pool or in the gym here. Um, so you just need to remember that safety is the most important to so making sure the chair is against the wall or you're using a kitchen bench um, and not causing any pain. We want it to be fun and enjoyable, just something for you to do while you're stuck at home, get the brain thinking, get the muscles moving. Um, so we really hope you enjoy the video, just ask us any questions, we're still all here um, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Alright, see you guys. Thank you.